He is my all. If he is my all, then I must be able to talk to people of the person I love. Because I love him, I am here today. I do it for Jesus, for the greater glory of God and the good of people. Joy. That is the mystery of love. <laughs> if you are in love, then you are full of joy. If we accept the good news that God loves us, that we are, his, that he, we are somebody very special to Him, that in tenderness and love he has, he has created us, He has loved us, He keeps us alive and all that, in tenderness and love, that is the reason of all joy. And that's what Jesus came at, that my joy may be yours. It is not how much we do or how big the things are, but how much love we put in the doing. Because we are human beings, and for us it looks very small. But once it has been given to God, God is infinite, and that small action becomes an infinite action. Because God is infinite, there's no measure for God. It is not how much we do, but how much love we put in the doing. That's more important to Almighty God and to us also. God's love is infinite, full of tenderness, full of mercy, full of forgiveness, full of uh, kindness, full of thoughtfulness. Doesn't matter color, doesn't matter race, doesn't matter nationality, doesn't matter religion. Hindu, Muslim, Jews, Buddhist, Communist, Christian. Every single man, woman, child is the child of God created in the image of God. Same, Jesus said, I, I was hungry, I was naked, I was sick, you did it to me. If you receive a child in my name, you receive me. If you give a glass of water to someone, give it to me. Whatever you do to the least of my brethren, you do it to me. Difficult to explain. For once you realize that presence, then you know whom you are touching, whom you are loving, whom you are serving. It is Jesus. God speaks in the silence of the heart, and we listen. And then we speak to God from the fullness of our heart. First we listen, God speaks, and then we speak and God listens. And that connection is, is prayer, is oneness with God. A soul of prayer, fruit of prayer, is deepening of faith. And the fruit of faith is love. And the fruit of love is service. And the fruit of service is peace. That's why we need to pray to have a clean heart. And if we have a clean heart, we can see God. And if we see God naturally, we begin to love one another. That means we see and we look and then we give our hands to serve and our hearts to love. And that's the beginning of holiness. Externally you see just bread, but it is Jesus. Externally you see just the poor person, but it is Jesus. Difficult to explain. It's a mystery of love. It's one of those things that human mind cannot reach, but uh, we have to bend. It is, it is He. Let us preach you without preaching, not by words, but by our example. 